Rocky, the real-time real estate segment today being brought to you by the Area Trusted. Real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio, visit rsrhomescout.com, rsrhomescout.com. Truth about negative home equity headlines. Home equity has been a hot topic in real estate news lately, and if you've been following along, you have may, you may have heard there's a growing number of homeowners with negative equity, but don't let those headlines scare you. In truth, the headlines don't give you all the information you really need to understand what's happening and at what scale. Let's break down one of the big equity stories you may be seeing in the news and what's actually taking place. That way you'll have the context you need to understand the big picture. Headlines focus on short-term equity numbers and fail to convey the long-term view. One piece of news circulating focuses on the percentage of homes purchased in 2022 that are currently underwater. The term underwater refers to a scenario when the homeowner owes more on the ho- on the loan than the house is worth. This was a huge issue when the housing market crashed in 2008, but it mu- but it much less significant today. Media coverage right now is based loosely on a report from Black Knight Incorporated. The actual report from that source says this, quote, of all homes purchased with a mortgage in 2022, are now at least marginally underwater, and nearly 40% have less than 10% equity in their home, unquote. Let's unpack unpack that for a moment and provide the bigger picture. The data-bound report from Black Knight is talking specifically about homes purchased in 2022, but media headlines don't always mention that time frame or provide the surrounding context about how unusual of a year 2022 was for the housing market. In 2022, home price appreciation soared and it reached its max around March or April. Since then, the rate of appreciation has been slowing down. Homeowners who bought their house last year right at the peak of, or those who paid more than market value in the months that followed are more likely to fall into the category of being marginally underwater. The qualifier marginally is another key piece of the puzzle the media is not necessarily including in their coverage. So what does that mean for those who purchased a home in 2022? It's important to remember owning a home is a long-term investment, not a short-term play. When headlines focus on the short-term view, they're not necessarily providing the full context. Typically speaking, the longer you stay in your home, the more equity you gain as you pay down your loan and as home prices appreciate. With recent market conditions, you may not have gained significant equity right away if you owned the home for just a few months. But it's also true that many homeowners who recently bought their house are unlikely to be looking to sell quite yet. Bottom line, as with everything, knowing the context is important. If you have questions about real estate headlines, about how much equity you have in your home, give me a call. I've actually got a report that I can give you or I can create for you that takes your exact address, looks at the history of that address and appreciation for that address, and then looks at forecasts that Mary and I are going to talk about in a minute and looks at those and says, okay, Based on where you are right now, what does the future look like for your address? If you want information on that, give me a call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. That is the real-time real estate segment, again, brought to you by the Area Trusted Real Estate Professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Visit rsrhomescout.com, rsrhomescout.com. 